Howdy once again, it's Tubal Cain and this is part two of my combination garage sale and auction venture. So be sure and watch the first part if you have not already because that was better than this part will be. But you know I have a special guest here today. This is Thelma. This is my girl that comes to all the auctions with me. And uh, you know I, I never could get a girl to dance with me but, but Thelma would. So. Join me now. I'll show you what I got at that auction. It's not a whole lot, but uh, actually I did meet Thelma at the auction, and that, that's where I got her. And uh, hopefully she'll stick with me through thick and thin. And give me a kiss, Thelma. Oh boy, her breath bad. You know, she must be about 120 years old. But anyway, let's take a look at what I got, and I will be showing you just a short. A brief clip of the auction itself and the machinery. We're mainly interested in the two machines or three machines that sold and uh, the prices is what is amazing so I'll list those right on the screen so you can see what this stuff went for. I, I wish I would have bought it but I had no way of moving it. But uh, All right, let's move on. This will be a short one. Actually, the main mission at the auction, and by the way, I was number 13. I was an unlucky bidder, and you'll see when you, how unlucky I was. But I bought some furniture for my grandson. There's a futon. That was a dollar. They never could get a bid on it. And finally, I said, I'll take it for a buck. That folds down, I think. But then there's a computer desk for him and a couple little tables behind that. So he's setting up a, an apartment or a room or something like that when he goes away to school. So we're always watching for things for him. Now let me cut away to just a short clip that I made of the auction just wa up, walking up and down the racks and then also sh going into the shop is poorly lit and showing you the machines and then uh, later on well when I show you the machines here I'll put the price on it what the what they sold for incredibly low boy if only I could buy a bridge port for that There is a Lion brand, L-Y-O-N, I guess it is, yeah, made in Aurora. Four foot wide, seven shelves, seven foot high, industrial quality, that was nine bucks. And then this, I don't know why I bid on this, just to fertilize my yard, as if I ever do that, but 
as I go to load it, I realize the tires are flat, but yet there was two brand new inner tubes. So I got a project putting those on. I, I probably should put it out in the junk for a dollar, but all right, let's swing around and look at the other stuff. I bought a lot of uh, motors and drives and controllers and gearboxes. That's really all I bought, well, pretty much what you see right here. I don't know if any of it works, but that's probably not even $20 worth. But there's a couple motors here. Well, one is under this blue box here. I, I hope that works all right. And then the, the capacitor start one you see back there. You never know. You know, it's a pig in the poke when you go to an auction. And then there's three right angle gear drives there. And there is a number 50 milling machine taper arbor. But these are DC controllers. And there's some motors here down at the end that are DC motors and I have some other DC motors in stock so I'm hoping that some of these controllers will work it's just my luck none of them will but I'm not out a whole lot other than the frustration because getting back to speed controls on drill presses I think better than a VFD is a DC motor but they are very expensive and the controls are as well but on this there is one of those ohmite uh, variable resistors and there's another one up on the bench so that's kind of what I was bidding on but I'm not a great electrician I'm not sure if I can make this stuff work or not but there is one box full of tools that I'll show you right now also I bought a whole pile of uh, slings I don't know why I brought them home most of what I bought is still on the auction racks because it was just junk or I didn't want to carry it it was so incredibly hot but that's the sum total that's why I told you that my number 13 uh, was unlucky and I was only lucky with Thelma. There weren't a whole lot of tools and there was no related tooling at all with the machines. He held back on that because I guess he thought he wasn't going to get enough money. But anyway, there's two of these and that's a variable resistor uh, power stat. I hope these work. I, I was always intrigued by these. But that's AC. Strictly AC. All right, this is a $3 box, and it's the only box that I bought. Uh, there weren't a whole lot of boxes like that, but there we got a, a rigid pipe wrench that somebody cheated on. And a set of T-handle hex keys, American, but they are American size, imperial size, but made you know where. Junk, junk. There's a genuine crescent with no nicks. Inch and a quarter craftsman. Junk. File handle. All right, there's an index, totally empty. I'll throw that out. Pry bar. Now, I like this big mallet, but only because it will be used in some of the humorous bits that I do when I smash things. So that, that's the purpose of this, and somebody's already smashed the heck out of it. That's rawhide mallet. It's seen some heavy use. And abuse. Another claw hammer, Stanley. I don't need any more of those. A partial set of uh, number bits. I don't need drills. It's just that they were in there. That's junk. All right. Um, and I did look through this box before. There's a nice long reach tap wrench, and it is a Starrett. That surprised the heck out of me. That's a Starrett tap wrench. So that's that's worth. The three dollars alone. Here are two uh, Cooper not Cooper nickel. What the heck are they? They're, they're spark free Amco wrenches. Both of them are well, one seven sixteenths and one's half. Beryllium copper. That's that's the name I'm looking for. Beryllium copper. You know what? Those are probably twenty bucks each. Ball peen. No name that I can see. Big Williams wrench, S and K, 15 16s Craftsman. I never use a 15 16. So. All right. In the comments, tell me what what they call this chisel. There's a name for it and the purpose. And that's really all there is. That's three bucks worth, but it's worth it for the these, even though they're probably soft steel. And, all right, that's really all I got, and you can see why I say I was unlucky, but 
Uh, I was so lucky at the garage sale that none of this mattered. So what I have to do now is to, when it cools off here, is, is to try to see if I can get these motors paired up or, or if they run and throw out what doesn't run. Especially with those two AC motors. Well, that concludes uh, this video series, both videos. Uh, glad you watched, and I'll see you in my next video, and there'll be a lot of videos coming up, so make sure you stay tuned to my channel. Thank you. This is Tubal Kane.